Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Dark Souls 2, the DLC Crown of the Sunken King. And today we're going to be going to the only place I think in the DLC that we have not actually went to yet. Which would be this cave of the dead, or I can't remember the exact name. All I remember there is a big drop, Cave of the Dead. I guess I wasn't that far off. And obviously I have no idea what's down here, except I'm guessing a boss, because there's two summon signs. Who's this? Rapacious Andre, or Rapacious Andre, sorry. That is not a promising name, Rapacious, or prefix, I guess I should say. And Ruined Aphlis. If there is a reason they are giving me two summons here, there's probably something very bad down here. Probably. Can't see anything down there. Is that a person or is that a vase? I can't tell. Just getting further and further into the crap here. I think that's supposed to be a bond. That's like, yeah, it's a torch. Sconce or what have you. I think I just walked into the wrong neighborhood. Because, well, I don't seem to be welcome here. Call me crazy here. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit more than once there, to be quite honest with you, but. No. You don't get the right to heal. You are an antagonist. Okay. Why are those things eyes glowing? That probably means they have malicious intent. So. Oh my, there's holes everywhere. That's not good. Thankfully, this guy's a moron and will just. That's not what I wanted to do, but it seemed to work out. Oh god. This is gonna get worse the farther I go down, isn't it? I don't know what those do, but I don't really want to find out, either. I guess I might as well destroy all these. No real reason, just... I don't know. I just want to destroy things. Don't judge me, I, well, I like destroying things. Where'd I want to drop down? What was that? What was that? I don't... Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say, did something just shoot me from downstairs? Because that's... that's not... typical. Speaking of typical, I wonder if I can... I don't think I can. He's too far right below me. Yeah, he's too far right below me. I don't think even if I... Oh crap, he can aim up here though. Now that I've drawn attention to myself, blindly and stupidly, I don't think I can hit that either. No, I can, it just doesn't do anything. Well, crap, I gotta pick one of these holes to drop down. Which one am I going to do? Now that I've alerted the whole bottom floor to my presence, I guess I just pick one and hope for the best, right? Ow, god damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Back myself into a corner. I was kind of hoping to just kill you quickly and not get poisoned and call it in a day. Oh crap. Picked a bad, bad time for that. Yeah, I'm trying to like just kill everything as soon as I can down here. That's probably a very stupid thing to do because I just kind of made myself into a... Or made myself. I put myself into a corner here, quite literally. Not just figuratively. This is a nasty room to drop into, man. There's all kinds of crap down here. I gotta destroy most of these things if I want to have a decent shot at not getting... Whatever that affliction was. I think that was petrify. I haven't gotten petrified yet, so I... Can't rightly tell you what that is. Ow! Oh, yeah, that. I think that's petrify. Jerk. Now that I've gotten the thing's attention over... Oh, man. I just didn't even realize that was a whole hallway. So, I thought I saw that guy with the torch starting to wander over here. I got something's attention. And that thing's spewing poison all the live long day, huh? 
No. You guys are not cool with me coming over there. Okay. Guess I'll just go about my way and shoot you in the ass. That's not a sin you get to say every day. Please don't fire darts at me, you malevolent statues, you. I mean, this thing's easy down here once you get past the initial rush, but the initial drop is just devious. Oh! What shot me there? Oh, you. There's so many statues. I'm surprised I haven't gotten... I haven't gotten petrified yet because I'm, not, I'm just kind of taking all these hits that are just not necessary. Wow. I panic dodged and actually worked? I guess there's a first for everything. Holy hell. You. You can't just leave well enough alone. You stick your nose in my business and I don't like it. You get crushed. Nobody learned a damn thing. Seriously, you think the enemies would go, I think he just murdered all of our all of the other people. I think we better just stay out of his way. No, nobody learns anything. They're all mindless beasts. And being being, you know, described as a beast usually has good complications. Actually usually has bad complications. But from coming from me, it usually has good implications because that means you are I really hope you weren't friendly because I just kind of shot first and asked questions later. I don't think he was. Thank you for destroying those for the record. I just didn't really want to aggro you by going over there and aggroing those or destroying those. I'm going to get shot by these things by destroying them. It had to be done. You are the sturdiest statue I have ever saw. Alright. I don't know if there's any point in clearing all these out except just ease of movement because that's pretty much the only reason I'm doing this so I can just wander around at my leisure here at the I mean, might as well just make it easier, right? No, no sense just trying to play ballerina trying to go around all these things and not get shot and then have it end up biting me in the ass later because I get shot one too many times and end up petrified and probably die. I'm guessing you die if you get petrified. I've never had it happen yet, but I'm guessing that's what happens. That's what I would have happen if I was a game designer and someone got hit enough times with petrified darts that they die. They had enough times to not get shot. It's like enough of a warning to make sure you let the timer go down and they didn't eat it. I mean, Dark Souls... Two is a lot more forgiving than its predecessors were. Excuse me, in terms of environmental... Environmental, what's the term? Danger, I guess. Demon Souls, there was no mercy. Dark Souls, not a whole lot more. Dark Souls 2, usually there's a bit of mercy to be had. Not a whole lot, but there's a lot more than you're used to. Some people may call that easy mode. I call it... Well, not quite as frustrating, so it's all fine by me. But I, some people disagree. That's their God-given right. We agree to disagree. Bonfire aesthetics. I have way more than I ever need of those. Like, the only thing I can even possibly think of I would need more bonfire aesthetics for would be to respawn those skeletons in the Jewel of Mansion, which I haven't even done that. That's uh, I've been told that by... Viewers out there, that is that will respond them. So I'm gonna guess they're not mistaken because they know a lot more about the game than I do. Because I still haven't finished it. Well, technically I haven't finished it. I had finished it, but I've only played through the game once. And in my off time, I'll play on my on piece on my PC version. I'm guessing that's where we're supposed to go. So I'm not going to go there quite yet. I only play on the PC version when I have free time, though, which is rather limited nowadays, because when I have free time now, I always end up trying to work on my editing skills, making an intro, things like that. Yes, I haven't given up on making an intro. I'm just rather slow at it, because I'm learning a whole new program. So don't give up on me. I'm not giving up on you. Let's see. Bright bug. What the hell is a bright bug? It doesn't sound like something I would necessarily want. 
But I've been surprised before with items, so... Here's hoping. Bright bug. Is it not a consumable? I guess it might not be a consumable. Why, why would you want to consume a bug? That's just a sc Oh, there it is. Inflict more damage, receive less. A tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to comfort the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the undead crypt. By ingesting a bright bug just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly, one attains great power for a short time, often utilized as a last resort for adventurers who have lost their way. Has no effect in other worlds or for phantoms. So if I read that right, that's basically like a buff, but it's extremely limited in number, I'm guessing, so... Kind of like Elizabeth's Mushroom, except offensive. I'm glad I took my time to actually look around, because that might prove useful. Another reason I wanted to clear this whole room out is because if I run into something terrible in here, or presumably in this next area, I want to be able to run back. There's no running back because there's a huge drop. Never mind. Well, that tactic had some merit in my eyes at the time. It made sense. Oh, you almost caught me. Get, destroy the... You... Oh my god. Destroy the damn thing. I can't destroy... That is an invincible thing. Well, son of a bitch. I thought, oh, I can just... Oh, there's a fog gate. So, there be a boss in there, huh? It would make sense. That's a lot of crap before that boss, but thankfully I think this should be rather easy getting to it. Pretty sure that hit it in the in the pan, but... Serpentine? Who'd have thought a turtle could serpentine and dodge all my crap? This is just poor play for me, but this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> okay, I was aiming too high. I'll accept that. I was going to say, that's hitting it right in the face. There's no doubt about that. Don't give me no excuse about, oh, that didn't actually hit it. Because I call shenanigans if that had. You are contestant number two. Come on down, sir. You are the next contestant on Get Your Head Bashed In. I was going to make a Price is Right joke. Unfortunately, I can't really justify that, considering the situation we're in. You are just... I'm not good at fighting those things. I They're easy. I'm just screwing up monumentally when I fight those things because I just go, eh, I can take the hit because I bought 99 more. I've got my life gems back up to 99. I figure, why waste time when I can just get it over with quickly and just use a life gem, you know? It's lazy. Oh, it's lazy, but, you know, I'm just going to get the big guys down here. Come on, come down here. It's a lot easier to hit from a distance as well. Please don't block that. Well, you didn't block it. At least you listened to me. This is stupid and... That worked. I realized halfway through hitting the R2 the second time, I think I just made a tactical blunder there. But I managed to change my direction in the nick of time. Come on, don't be a wuss about it. Son, are you really going to let me get a pot shot on you? This will still do 50 damage through your shield. That's what I thought. Good. Oh crap. You do realize that's kind of the bad thing about spears, right? You don't want to just poke when you're right next to them. That leaves your back totally exposed. You need to learn your weapon, boy. <laughs> you want to live. Oh my! Well, I think that's just the thing from Black Gulch. That surprised me more than anything. Alright, I'll actually fight it in melee. There's no point just sitting there going. No sense pussyfooting around there. It makes it's a lot faster just to do it in melee. I don't know how much damage those things do because you would have to be caught by surprise, I would think, to actually get hit by that, unless there's multiple in here. I was gonna say as soon as I go for this, unless there's multiple in there and it hits me again, I don't see how you could really get hit by those. This is going very slow. You can go through this room much faster, but you know me. I'm just cautious. I don't like going through things fast when I don't know what's going on. Since I haven't gone through the DLC before, I have no idea what's going on here. Always better to be, to err on the side of caution in Souls games, I've learned. What are the point of all these lamps? Just for atmospheric light in case you can't actually see down here? I don't know. Item... And a wall. Guess I'll get the item. Oh! 
Touche game. I didn't see. Oh. What the hell is that? Ah, I see. It's only fitting that it was an alluring skull. I feel like a mob now. I feel like the the giant pig from the Dark Souls 1 that I just always threw the alluring skull into the fire and it walked right into. Okay, I have no idea what's in here, if it's a boss or not. So, I think I might have everything on my... No, I don't. I was gonna say, I think I might have everything on my hotbar that I want, but I don't. But this is... This should be fine. Eat a green blossom, just for the... Just to err on the side of caution here, and let's get moving. What do we have in here? Oh, for fuck's sake. Three... Fucking enemies? Oh, hobble, too. A guy in hobbles. Oh, my. Son. No. I don't want to fight all three of you at once. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, Jesus. Do you know how to use that right? Oh, what am I supposed to do with this? I, I suck at PvP. Why do you do this to me, game? Why do you do this? Oh, Lord. 3v1? What do I look like? I'm in the forest? This is no forest. This is bullcrap is what this is. Fighting a dex user, a strength user, and a... I don't know what the hell the other guy is. I, I'm just... What do I do here? I don't know. Try not to get cornered, I guess. Oh, jeez. Jeez, I'm crow. Why did you make this a fight? I just cornered myself. I'd rather take my chances with Hovel. Well... I guess I wouldn't. Oh, Jesus Christ, son. Well, it's a good thing I... I ate a green blossom here. Otherwise, this might have gotten messy real quick. Oh, crap. I made a bad tactical decision. I didn't know there's water down here. And only one way up. You know, I really hate you. Damn it. I only get one opportunity per swing because they... They just chase you. What do I do here? I wish I was a good PvPer, and I might actually have an idea of what to, what I'm expected to do here, and not die. Unfortunately, it don't work like that for me. What the hell? This is gonna last a long time, folks. If I can get one down, this will get exponentially... I just went the wrong way. This will get exponentially easier. Well, this is gonna be bad. Son, do you have stamina? Do you even stamina? No, he doesn't. God, I cornered myself in a bad, bad area. Get out of the way, you pansy with the great bow. I kind of made fun of myself there, but get out of the way. All right, you want to fight? I was going to say, you want to fight? Let's bring a fight. Hopefully, I pray to God, they don't heal. Because if they heal, shenanigans, shenanigans. No. Not the both of you. Not the both of you at once. I need to separate old Varg. I think that's the one I want. Varg, the hobble guy. And get him out of the way early. Where the hell are they? Well, you know what? I can take one hit or two from you guys. Die, Varg! Die, you son of a whore! Yes. Just, like I said... If you just get into a pissing match with one of them, it gets ex with this weapon, it's an advantage because you could do a lot more damage than most enemies. Like this guy. Yeah, right, son. Ow! Shit. I forgot. Great bow. Right. But still, this isn't as bad as I thought it was as soon as I entered the fog. I thought, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> there is no way I can do this. I was wrong. Oh, Jesus. I was wrong. You just gotta treat it like- Oh, Jesus Christ, you hit hard. Okay, I didn't respect the dex weapon enough. I didn't respect it enough. You can't really go and try and get into a piss and fight with- What is that thing, a manslayer? That thing has bleed out the ass. That didn't really come out right. But you know what- Oh, shit. But you know what I meant. Heh, <laughs> bleed out the ass. Oh! I, are you telling me the only way out is past that thing? All right, we're in a death match here, in the middle of, a, in the middle of a bunch of water. I don't know if this is good, but 
that's where we're at. That's the situation. A manly man fight. None of us can, neither one of us can run away. And time is running out. Ha. I'll learn you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Oh. I'm not going to die to a bunch of statues. Not now. Not after that. Is that it? Was it was, seriously? It was just like a PvP, faux PvP fight? That was all that was? I did that very poorly, make no mistake about that, but for a man that hates PvP, I like to think I didn't do that bad. Whether I actually did or not, it's up to you, but I like to think that I didn't do that bad. Am I just going backwards now? I have no idea. I don't think I'm going backwards, I think I'm going forwards. So is there another boss beyond this? I'm pretty sure someone said there's only three bosses, and that's the third boss. I wish I remembered their name. Of course, I don't even know if they want me to use their name. I don't ever use people's names unless they let me know that it's alright. It's a matter of respect. Did I seriously just pick up a flower skirt? Well, I'm never wearing that because that would... I don't want to trade in my man card, okay? Not on this character. If it was a female character, I have no qualms about that. Not that there's anything wrong with a man being feminine. It's just, I don't want to wear a flower skirt on this hulking behemoth of a berserker. I have some standards, okay? I have some. Not a lot. That is one of them. Where am I? Oh, I see where we're at now. Ah, so this is how you get up here. I wonder if there's a reason to get up here besides this chest. So what's in here? A spell or something? I bet. Maybe. That's, what, that's my guess. Dark Greatsword. Much better than a spell. Well, not much for me because I don't have enough intelligence or faith, I think, for a hexing build or whatever that's supposed to be good for. That's my guess. That's probably used for a hexing build. I have no real concrete backup or evidence to back that up, but going off of what I would imagine, I would think that's for those kind of builds. I don't think trying to jump to that is the best idea ever, so we're not going to do that. I think that's all three bosses in the DLC over, done with, and killed. That was a lot faster than I ever thought it would go. Like, a lot faster. Is there a way down from here? There's no way down from here, is there? Oh, sure. I could jump down there and break, shatter my femur, but I think I'll just take the, I don't know, sane way out and just use... Do I still have my feather on my hotbar? I think I took... No, oh, crap, I did. No, he says, right as he scrolls onto it. Well... That was definitely out of my comfort zone, but that was easy enough. I mean, I can see what, how some people get out of trouble with that, considering I basically relied on my King's Ultra Great Sword to just plow through that, and... I mean, in my defense, I kind of tried to isolate them one at a time and then swing away, because if I tried to swing away with all three of them right there, I would have died, ter you know, terribly. I showed, obviously, you can die in that easily. They do a lot of damage, especially that Dex one with the bleed, but... I'm not done yet, folks. I need to go exploring a little bit, and I will be back once I find something noteworthy, because I'm pretty sure I was told that I missed stuff down in the... Was it Dragon Sanctum? Bottom floor? I didn't even find a bonfire. I'm pretty sure I missed something in the bottom floor of the... of that one building, so we're going to the Lair of the Imperfect, and I'm going backwards. So, I'll be back in just a moment, everyone.